Right now from Chicago police, they've called a news conference to update the investigation of a fatal shooting on the city's far south side. 70 year old Yvonne Ruzik was sitting outside her job when she was killed. It was caught on tape. Let's listen in as Chief of Detectives Brendan Dinahan makes an announcement. 13324 South Baltimore. Uh, the victim, Yvonne Rusic, she's 70 years old. She's still working at that location. She gets to work early every day. She gets to work before the actual, uh, she gets to work actually before her boss shows up at that location. Her stepson drives to work with her, stays with her in like a separate car to make sure that she's safe. And then when the, uh, the owner gets there, then she enters uh, you know, with the owner. So we have a 70 year old woman who's still working extremely hard and then her life is uh, tragically ended uh, really for no reason other than, uh, than a car here. So what happens is she's waiting in the vehicle and then her stepson sees a couple of cars. They drive past, they pull a U-turn, they're parking behind the victim and the stepson. At that point, the stepson kind of realizes something isn't right. You see these two offenders exit the car, start walking towards their cars. They're armed with handguns. Stepson tells her, drive away, drive away. They both try to drive away. As the victim drives away, one of the offenders shoots into her car. At that point, she crashes. The offenders get back into their car, and then they actually drive up and shoot into the car uh, several more times. And some of this was actually captured on some pod video and we pushed that out uh, with the help of the news media and social media and once again that definitely helped in this case so overall detectives got to the scene that day and they realized that they started tracking the vehicle that was used in the murder they backtracked that vehicle and realized that that car was carjacked which once again led to a different crime scene they realized throughout the course of the night, this group had carjacked or attempt to carjack several vehicles, which led us to several different crime scenes. We recovered a total of four vehicles with, you know, during this investigation. Some of those vehicles, as I mentioned, led us across state lines into Indiana. And while we tracked these stolen cars, we obviously contacted the victims of those carjacking incidents to see if they could identify somebody. And then using technology, we kind of track these guys where they went uh, in the city to see if they in fact went into any sort of gas station or a better place where we could get you know, pictures of them. As I mentioned, we pushed uh, you know, the, um, the photos and the video we had out through the news media. And then as we were recovering the vehicles, we were fortunate enough to get a couple of witnesses to come in and cooperate look at the video, they knew the suspects, they helped us identify those individuals, and then working with our fugitive apprehension team, we're able to arrest one of these offenders in Chicago, and this offender is a juvenile, so I won't be releasing the name, uh, but this juvenile has been charged with first degree murder, and that Kate, case will be transferred you know, to adult court by the state's attorney's office. So I know there was a lot of information, but I wanna Thank everybody involved, and then really just the thoughts should go out to the family here for uh, the victim. Once again, a 70-year-old victim still working, going to work at 4.30 in the morning, and life uh, tragically ended, you know, just for trying to get a piece of property, a car. Can I take uh, any questions? That's Chief of Detectives Brendan Dina.